How are y'all today? Good, how are you? Right. Here in Effingham County, reading is cool. How many of you like to read? You like to read? Yes. Of course, not only is it cool. Reading is the foundation for absolutely everything in education. Absolutely everything. So when coming out of the pandemic, the district began to notice an issue. So we had some lost learning um, from some families that moved in. We had some lost learning from some families that were within the district. They knew right where to start. And for you, all for us. The district putting together a committee to answer an important question. What do our boys and girls need most? Uh, and, and the phonics instruction uh, is what they came out with. From there, they took action. Started last year with some funds and built um, classroom libraries for every teacher in the school district. We purchased a new phonics program um, that's mandatory, you know, every day. Teachers, you know, 30 minutes every day of, of, of targeted, purposeful phonics instruction. Small steps, they say, have already made a big difference. Kids have to have books in their hands and lots and lots and lots of resources. But yes, we've seen major, major gains by, by having that kind of non-negotiable mandatory phonics instruction every day. But if you ask Dr. Ford, even the best plans are hopeless. Unless, of course, you have the best people behind them. There's a lot of wonderful programs out there, and we've adopted a really, really good uh, phonics program. But without the, the most important aspect of it, the teacher in front of the kids, then the, the phonics program is useless. Mm, you know, as a kid, it was so tough to read. I think yeah. I might have had a little bit of a disability. So I think it's so wonderful to get these kids started young. We know how beneficial that is. It is. It is so important to get them not only reading, but mm -hmm. get them enjoying reading, which mm -hmm. it seems like they're working that in. And of course, yeah. Read United, we got the telethon going today and the right. big days coming up in February. The fact that they're giving kids these books. A lot of kids mm -hmm. don't even have a book of their own. So you add a little pride to it. Hey, that's my book. I get to read yes. it. I mean, I love it. It's, sometimes you forget with all the fancy stuff mm. we got out there. Opening a book. Yes, right in the margins, highlight. I mean, there's something to be said about coming back to that yeah. also as an adult. There's books that I've looked at where I've highlighted things and, you know, made notes. And it, it's just so fun to read and be like, oh, I was in that place or I remember that, you know. Brings you back. And I'm sure they're going to make a lot of memories with uh, books down the road for themselves as right. well. That, of course, brings us to our question of the day. We're going to wrap up those results, talking a lot about opening those mm -hmm. books. But we know not everybody likes to do that. Some people like yes. to digitally swipe. So we mm -hmm. asked the question, how would you rather read paper or electronic devices? And Becky? Ah, okay. Well, for the entire show, everyone, if you're just joining us first, darn it. Um, but <laughs> second, <First> darn it. <laughs> second, we have been asking you guys to participate. Do you prefer to read paper or electronic? It was electronic for almost the entire show. Yeah, this, this was a late surge by mm -hmm. the paperback lovers. Yeah. They probably, they weren't on their devices as quick as the electronic lovers. They right. They're probably watching us on their That's iPad right. between reading books good in the point. breaks. And so. I'd like to say that I swayed a little bit of the vote. That's good. You convinced me. I don't know. I went on and I got my, my vote Are on Are you going to go buy a book now? An actual hardbound yeah. book? Uh, I've got a library card. Okay. I might start there. Ease into, you know, because I do that. I buy books okay. most commonly in the airport mm -hmm. when they seem most mm -hmm. enticing. Like, oh, I'm going to read this right. book on the plane and then I'll sit there and I'll read a little bit of it okay. and then throw it in my bag and forget it. Oh, yeah. see, I have a thing. So I buy, <laughs> I buy, listen to this, I buy a hardbound book mm -hmm. with the cover and what I do is I, I read the book and then I take the cover off of it when oh. I'm done reading. So when it's on my bookcase, it's a nice, beautiful, hardbound. Uh, and it kind of, I don't know, it's like that reward. Classes I get to, it up too. Yes, I uh -huh. get to take the cover. I don't know if anybody else does that. Again, I like that. That's kind of fun because there is something when you take the little cover off, it kind of makes it look like an old school, right. like salt of the earth type of book. So, But to our point, that's, you know, I'm glad paper is winning because there's just so much, there's nostalgia. I know. And I know it's, it's great and it is convenient, mm -hmm. right, to have your book right, right here with you. You can bring it everywhere. Mm -hmm. But if you're not cutting your fingers on the paper every now and then, Ooh, you know. Yes. Keep Neosporin in business. Yeah. What <laughs> What do you do with yourself? So it's nice that people are out there reading, of course, yes. today. We Big are day. pushing the importance of reading and the impact it can have on lives. So however you like to read, That's right. read and pass on that love for it. And read to others. It's, yeah. a, it's a fun activity to do. Maybe you just turn off an episode of TV and read, read a chapter of a book. Ooh, that's a tough argument. <laughs> I don't know.